Hey, Tim Sykes here. It has been a crazy, crazy day. I want to recap it. Uh, there's some good lessons. I'm sorry for sounding nasally. I am here actually in Asia. I'm filming this in the middle of the night. The time zone is not so great to trade U.S. stocks here. Um, I'm visiting several of my new schools that my charity has built. I'll post photos and videos soon, but it's an honor really to visit these communities and meet with the kids and their families. And then at night, I'm trading, so that doesn't leave too much time for sleep. Um, but first, got to talk about um, what's happening right now. Below Deck is this TV show that my top students and I are on. Um, it airs tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern on Bravo, November 28th, uh, Season 5, Episode 13. This is my uh, second millionaire student, Tim Grittani, lifting up his wife, and that's like their little party trick. Um, it should be pretty cool. I don't know what to expect. They usually make me look like an ass, but I kind of make myself look like an ass, so it's not really their fault. It's mine. Um, last time I was aboard the yacht, I actually made $70,000 on a trade with like three cameras in my face. They did not show it, but the good news is that it basically paid for the whole trip. Um, so there's good and bad with this show, and a lot of people ask me, why do I subject myself to this? I don't care about looking like an ass. Uh, you know, as long as I can try to get my teachings out there and, and the word out there that you can trade stocks from anywhere, the fact that I can make $70,000 aboard a yacht with very little Wi-Fi, um, I'm not going to ruin what happened this trip. This is my second trip, but uh, just know it'll be a pretty good episode. So set your DVRs uh, to November 28th, uh, 9 p.m. Eastern on Bravo. It's called Below Deck. Um, I'll post clips, you know, once it airs, but it was, it was a good time again. Uh, I should also mention yesterday, I hope that you watched, uh, this little video that I posted. Uh, I gave away $10,000 cash to some deserving students in Newark. And if you read my blog post, um, I also gave away roughly $10,000, uh, for the one Bitcoin, uh, giveaway. If you go to, uh, timothysykes.com. You can read that blog post. I'm sorry. I'm so behind. I announced this giveaway literally a month ago, and I'm so far behind on everything. Um, it has actually benefited uh, the winner. Uh, his name is Harris. I picked him randomly out of tens of thousands of people. Harris S. I don't know if he wanted me to share his last name, so I just didn't. Um, but Bitcoin has risen from 6000 to roughly 10000 since I announced the giveaway a month ago just to give you an idea of how fast Bitcoin is climbing. So it cost me an extra roughly $4,000 um, by not announcing the winner right away. And that's cool, you know, I'll give away $10,000. So I, I like this. Um, and, and a lot of you guys are messaging me that you like it too, and I'm, I'm proud of that. You know, there's some BS artists on the internet where they give away like an iPhone or they give away $100. Um, and it's like, dude, you know, if you claim to be rich, like, why are you being so cheap? Um, so for me, I want to give away meaningful amounts, no different than, you know, the million dollars that I gave away to Pencils of Promise earlier this year, my favorite charity. Um, it blows my mind how much money people make and they give away so little. Um, I want to try to change that. I want to try to teach you. And that's why I'm so proud to do it. That's why I'll always showcase every single donation, every single gift. And by the way, this, you know, the Bitcoin giveaway and the $10,000 cash giveaway, that's not for my charity. Uh, my charity has very strict rules. I can only donate to other charities. This is just 20 grand out of my pocket and I want to pay it forward. So if you like that, um, leave a comment underneath this video saying, I like this. And I'm curious to see how many of you actually do like it. You know, I, I think it's cool. Like I'm, I'm trying to put myself in your shoes and if I was just starting and if I, you know, needed some like encouragement to study, I think it would be cool if my teacher gave away like 10 grand to random people. Um, I don't know, but you tell me if you like it, leave a comment underneath this video saying I like it. Um, also you have roughly two or three days left on this, uh, profitly sale on all these newsletters and guides, 30, 40, 50, 60% off. And Stocks of Trade is also having a Thanksgiving special. This will end at month end, both of them. So take advantage of these sales. We like, you know, giving back to you guys. And I think that it's imperative that you invest in your education. Speaking of, uh, today I had a very good day. I made a few thousand dollars. 
three trades, some better than others. Uh, GLNNF probably actually should have made like triple this, but I find that my best trades, I usually leave a lot on the table. Um, so here is GLNNF, Morning Panic. Um, it's been one of the strongest stocks in the market. And frankly, you know, we got the perfect morning panic. And I thought that there would be support uh, uh, right here uh, in the 220s. And it blew through that support. So I'm glad that it held the 170s. Um, they did a financing, I think, at like $2.30 a share today. So that's theoretically what it should be priced at. When a company does a financing, uh, they sell shares to institutional holders, hedge funds, and these are, you know, sophisticated investors. So theoretically, they get, you know, the, the price that they think the company is worth. Um, that's why the stock dropped from the threes all the way down to the, the low uh, twos and, and even high ones because the financing was done at a discount. Um, that's what these companies are all about. They pump themselves up with press release after press release, and then they try to do financings or, you know, sometimes they can't even do a financing. Uh, like IZEA couldn't even do a financing when they pumped themselves up with like 30 press releases a few weeks ago. Um, anyways, this opens the door if you are prepared for the morning panic pattern. So these bad companies actually make for great dip buys. And this thing got down to 180 and it's already bounced all the way to 274. Let's just do some math for a second. Hold up. 2.74 minus 1.8 divided by 1.8. This is 52% on your money from 10 a.m. until 11.45. So in an hour 45, one hour and 45 minutes, not even two hours, we're talking 105 minutes, you can make 50% on your money if you time it perfectly. Now, I don't time things perfectly. Um, I took the meat of the move. And frankly, I probably could have done a better job selling but as you hear, I'm not feeling that well. And it's scary as shit to buy these stocks. Um, so I took my little 10%. My goal was to make 10 or 20%. Um, as it turned out, there was a 50% bounce. And some of you guys are like, well, how did you know to spot this? Here's a blog post I wrote. I said, try this every morning and you'll make money. This was several months ago. And this is the exact same pattern. This is ZPAS where it dropped from 260 down to 180. All by 10 a.m., and then guess what? By, I guess by, by like noon, it had already bounced to 250. So the, compare this pattern on ZPAS to this pattern on GLNNF. It is the exact same. You simply have to follow my instructions. Sorry, I have too many windows open. Try this every morning and you'll make money. Too many of you guys say, oh, okay, I'll look for this pattern but then you forget for a day or two days or three days or a week and you miss out. I'll tell you the truth, GLNNF wasn't even on my watch list. You know, I thought that I had missed the boat because it had gone up so much. I was like, damn, I should have bought the breakout here. You know, now it's just gone too far. I don't want to chase it. But then the pattern that I know and love comes to me and opens up that opportunity. And I'm not going to ignore that opportunity when I see a pattern that I know very well. And I bought it pretty well in the 180s, and I sold it pretty poorly here in the low twos. Um, I didn't know how far it was going to go. I, I would not have held, you know, to 275, let alone 250 or even 240. But for me, next time this happens, you know, I will try to hold it until like 210 or 220 um, and try to make, you know, 15, 20 percent as opposed to just 10 percent because this is a strong pattern, you know, maybe – sell half and let the other half uh, go for a little bit because this is clear panic selling. And a lot of you guys are like, well, Tim, you say only focus on the big percent winners. How did you find this? This is a big multi-day percent winner. It's not just about intraday percent winners. I'm always looking at the strongest stocks. You know, MARK, for example, this is a great earnings winner. And this just keeps going. You can see how bad my Wi-Fi is. It's not even going to load. There it is. So this one hasn't really been a big percent winner in any day, but it's been a big multi-day winner. So it's on my watch list. Always watch multi-day winners. Um, and, you know, again, I have this blog post. I'll link it. ZPAS is just one of them. 
Here is another one. CATQ had the morning panic and the bounce. CNAB had the morning panic and the bounce. This was EMMD had the morning panic and the bounce. And then I gave a little graphic trading stocks like a sniper. So waiting for my shot. And GLNNF was that shot. Um, bounced a lot more than I thought it would. But the biggest thing that you should take away from this is that it's the exact same fucking pattern. Uh, it doesn't matter if I'm filming this at 1 a.m. It doesn't matter if I'm sick, if I'm healthy. I know to look for this pattern. And I even alerted it in the chat room before I bought. You know, this is why it's so key for you guys to be in the chat room. Um, I specifically, first of all, I had an overnight play on XIN that did nothing, so I just got out. I'm glad I took some profits into after hours yesterday when I hit my goals. But right here at 9.39 a.m., GLNNF potential Sykes morning, morning panic pattern. This is the blog post. This is at 9.39 a.m. This is when the stock was right here, and it was at 2.20. And I actually thought that it was going to hold support at 2.20. And I'm glad I didn't just, you know, try to dip by anything. You know, if you try to dip by, uh, you know, just like a, a crazy falling stock, I mean, you know, trying to catch a falling knife is, is a bloody mess. Um, so I said potential dip by, and that should have been your, you know, alert to recognize, wait a minute, if you read this blog post, if you know this pattern, I have hundreds and hundreds of video lessons on this one pattern. Um, if you go to Tim Lee slash sites dip buys, there's a whole category on buying dips and panics. Okay. And you need to watch all these video lessons. It's not an exact science. You don't know exactly when the bottom is going to be, but if you watch enough of these and you experience enough of them in real time, you can start to feel around where the bottom is. Um, it's not as hard as you might think. You just need to study the past. And that's why, you know, I make all these video lessons. That's why I alerted it. So I alerted it at 939. I didn't buy it, um, you know, for another like nearly 10 minutes. Um, and I got, you know, a few different executions. It might have been like seven or eight minutes. Uh, but I specifically alerted it before I bought it because I want you to watch this stuff in real time. Even if you don't buy it. As long as you witness it and you start seeing the potential, because I know so many people out there say penny stocks are scams, Tim Sykes is a scam. If you start witnessing these patterns, first of all, send them this video. Second of all, if you see it, it's actually pretty amazing. And I know a few of you caught it. I know a few of you did better than me. Um, it's not hard, okay? It's, it's really not that hard if you're prepared and you have the patience to wait for it. Um, some plays don't bounce. Like EKSO, you know, I've been trying to dip by this. This one has had like a little panic and weak bounce, a little panic, a little panic, a decent bounce yesterday. That was my big winner yesterday. Um, but what I find, and if you watch these video lessons, you know, it's these really sketchy ones that run up really quickly and then panic really quickly that offer the best bounces. So that is GLNNF. Um, you know, it's just a question if you're prepared or not. And that's why I show you these sales. That's why we have these sales. That's why we have all of these guides. Um, it's not a new pattern, okay? It's really not. Uh, if you watch uh, Penny Stocking Framework, you know, this is a classic, classic, classic number four, number five pattern. I have a seven-step framework in this guide, and this is the same exact pattern. It hasn't changed one iota over the years. You know, I make all these video lessons, I scream at the top of my lungs, I lose my voice, and really only like a few hundred of you even bother to pay attention because they don't come about every day, and so you get out of practice, and then you forget about it, and then when it does happen, you know, maybe you're doing something and you miss out. I get it, okay, I, I've been there, um, but just do me a favor so that every single time this happens, you start to recognize it. And you start to say, wait a minute, there is a pattern here. Because some people think that I'm crazy. Some people think that these patterns are in my head. And part of the reason why I love teaching so much and documenting everything is that it's clearly not in my head. I have hundreds of examples of this one pattern. And usually I sell too soon. Um, 
It's not a new thing. But at the same time, I'm still making a few thousand dollars at a time, and it still adds up to millions of dollars over the years. So that was my big trade for today. Uh, XIN locked in roughly a thousand. Um, just did not gap up the way I wanted, and so I, I quickly got out. Yesterday, after hours, um, it was making new highs, and I actually got some good sells because you know it hit my targets. And when you have a stock that hits your target, and you don't have to hold overnight. I probably should have sold everything, but at the same time, I wanted to see you know, if it could run. It was a blockchain play. Blockchain plays can really run. That's why I bought OHGI. They came out with a press release today teasing that they're going to acquire a company. They're making it basically seem like it's going to be blockchain or Bitcoin related. Um, <coughs> excuse me. This stock has run huge in the past before. So I didn't chase it from 130 to 170. I actually bought it on the dip in the 140s. Um, got a little bounce back to the 160s, but not much. And now it's hanging right around where I bought it. I'll still watch it. Um, because if you look at some of the hottest stocks right now in the market, like RIOT, which went from the 7s to 24, um, or BTSC, you know, which went from 11 cents and now 45 cents in the past few days. Blockchain Bitcoin related stocks are so freaking hot right now. Um, that's what I look for. I look for patterns that I know and I look for sectors that are hot. That's it. If you keep it simple, uh, you will do better. Okay. And sometimes a stock like XIN is not going to continue. So I simply got out. Um, or EKSO, which I've been dip buying, hasn't really bounced. So I simply got out. You're not going to be right every single time, but if you're willing to cut losses quickly, if you're willing to take smaller gains than you wanted, and then sometimes you will be dead on right, like I was on GLNNF. Um, you know, my gain on GLNNF, you know, is bigger than all of my smaller losses and smaller gains of the past few days. And I didn't even time it perfectly. Okay, I mean, I I sold it in the low twos. There's another. This could have been a ten thousand dollar profit if I timed it perfectly. And I'm not saying I'm going to time it perfectly. I just want you to see the potential here where some of you guys are like, yeah, Tim, it looks awesome that you're making two or 3000 but you're trading with a big account. I'm trading with a bigger account, yes. Also, next year, 2018, I'm just going to trade with a $12,000 account going back to my roots. Um, so you'll see exactly what I do with a small account. But at the same time also, when I'm making two, three, four thousand dollars $4,000 on a trade, Oftentimes, I'm leaving five, six, seven, eight thousand more in profits on the table. There is so much freaking opportunity. You know, the money that I've made from trading, 4.7 million roughly, um, is just scratching the surface. And I also have to give props. Shoot, I forgot to mention this. Too many things are going on. Um, Croy Runner, he still has to update his uh, stuff. Um, he just did this yesterday. Uh, this is my top student, Tim Gritani. He's at $4.8 million. He actually made over $100,000 yesterday. He texted me. He's now over $5 million. Um, and so we have this, you know, the reason why he texted me, not to brag, but because I told him, you know, when he passed $4 million, I would write the blog post with 40 lessons. But when he passed $5 million, he had to write the blog post with 50 lessons. So he's like kind of happy about passing 5 million, but then kind of unhappy about doing a blog post for my blog um, on timothysykes.com with 50 lessons. So it's good. Uh, congratulations to him. There's just so much going on right now, and it's pretty freaking awesome. So I got to get some sleep. It's closing in on 2 a.m. Uh, here in Asia, and I've got a busy uh, charity day tomorrow. I might wake up for the market close just because I like sounding stuffy and feeling like shit. Um, but more importantly, I, I feel obliged to show you these opportunities when they pop up. Um, OHGI, you know, didn't get the big spike that I wanted, but at the same time, you know, it's chilling here at 148, right where I bought it. Uh, XIN did not get much of the continuation I wanted, but I got out, I protected myself and I sold nicely uh, a chunk after hours for some profits. And then GLNNF, I was just 100% dead on it. Um, <clears throat> from that blog post I wrote months ago to the hundreds of video lessons on this pattern to my previewing in chat before I bought to my buy, 
Um, everything went swimmingly well except for my sell, which was a little too soon, but I still locked in profits. And you know, now I'm going to get some sleep and prepare for the below deck uh, madness. This is at 9 p.m. Eastern tonight, so roughly eight hours from the time when I publish this video lesson. So set your DVRs. If you miss it tonight, I think they play it throughout the week. It should be a good time. Thank you guys again. Um, also, take advantage of this profitly sale and stocks to trade sale. Um, don't say I didn't warn you because I'm mentioning it several times in the video lesson. I'll see you guys in the chat room. Congrats to all dip buyers. And even if you did not dip by GLNNF or any of these Bitcoin plays, at least hopefully you're watching and learning. That's the key. Let me know if you like video lessons like this. Leave a comment underneath saying, I like it, if you do. I'm curious to see how many of you even pay attention and make it to the end of these video lessons. I know they're long, but I think they're useful.